Let us now discuss about reversing a number. Let's say we have a number like 1, 2, 3. So, reversing means it should become 3, 2, 1. So, here if you observe, 1, 2, 3 is nothing but 100 plus 20 plus 3. So, it gives 123. So, here it is 300 plus 20 plus 1, 321. So, here the unit digit is 3, unit digit, 10th digit, 100th digit. So, this unit digit is multiplied by 100 here and the 10th digit is multiplied by 10 and the 100th digit is not multiplied. So, that is the logic in reversing. So, now what we can do is, let us say we have a number like 157. First, we can take the unit digit. So, and store it in the reversed value. So, let us say this is the original value and this is the reversed value. So, you take the unit digit and bring it to the reversed. So, now you divide by 10. When you are dividing by 10, it will not give you 15.7, but it will give you 15 because it is integer arithmetic. So, when you divide by 10, it will become 15. But now, you should not just take the unit digit and add it to 7. You should multiply the 7 by 10. So, it is 70 and then add. So, plus 5 is equal to 75. Now, you divide by 10. So, 15 becomes 1 because the unit digit will be removed. So, this is 75 here. Okay, 75 here. Now, you take the unit digit and add it here. But before that, multiply by 10. So, 750 plus 1 is equal to 751. So, now you can see the value has been reversed. So, let us consider one more example. We will have 4050. Now, you are taking the unit digit and adding it. So, it is 0. You divide by 10. So, this becomes 405. So, now you multiply this 0 with the 10. 0 into 10 plus the current unit digit 5. So, it is equal to 5 because anything multiplied with 0 is 0. So, now you divide by 10. So, this goes off. So, you have 40 and 5. Now, whatever the value you multiply by 10 and add the unit digit here plus 0 equal to 50. So, you are going to divide by 10. So, this becomes 4. So, now you are going to multiply this value, whatever is here. Okay, 50 into 10 plus 4. And you are going to divide this by 10. So, this 4, when it is divided by 10, it will become 0. Okay. So, in the right side, the value will be 504 because 50 into 10 is 500. So, 500 plus 4 gives you 504. So, now you can observe when 4050 is reversed, it gives 0504. The 0 in the most significant places, okay, it will not have value. So, the value is 504. So, this is the logic we should follow. So, the logic we follow is Suppose we have a number n, the reversed value, how to get it? So, let us say re the reversed value is 0. So, you are going to say the in a loop you are going to iterate till n becomes 0. n becomes 0. The steps to be followed are reverse into 10 plus n modulo 10. That is a unit digit. So, this is the first step. Second step, you are going to say n is equal to n by 10. You are going to divide by 10. So, when n becomes 0, stop. Then finally, whatever the value in the reversed, it will be the reversed value. So, let us follow this. Okay. So, let us have two variables. We will have n and then reversed. So, initially reversed is equal to 0. Let us say n is equal to 7, 2, 4, 0. Okay, 7, 2, 4, 0. So, step 1 you follow, reverse into 10 plus n modulo 10. 
So, 0 into 10 plus n modulo 10. So, 0 into 10 plus 0. This is 0 only. Then n is equal to n by 10. n is 724. Is n 0? No. So, again repeat step 1. So, reverse into 10. 0 into 10 plus n modulo 10. What is n modulo 10? 4. So, it becomes 4. What is the second step? n is equal to n by 10. n becomes 72. Is n 0? No. Then repeat step 1. Reverse into 10. 4 into 10 plus n modulo 10. 2 equal to 42. Okay. So, second step n is equal to n by 10. You divide n becomes 7. Is n 0? No. So, repeat the steps. So, 42 into 10 plus n modulo 10. 7. So, this becomes 427. So, now step 2, n is equal to n by 10. So, 7 by 10 will give you 0. Now, n has become 0. So, stop the following the steps. So, now what is the final value? 427. So, 7 to 4 0, when reversed it will give 0, 4, 2, 7. 0 in the most significant place, it doesn't have any value. So, it will give you 427. So, now let us implement the logic. So, we are going to accept the value. So, we are going to accept the value in n. So, we are going to initialize the reverse value is equal to 0. So, we are going to check while n not equal to 0. What are the steps to be followed? Reverse is equal to reverse into 10 plus the unit digit of n. So, unit digit you will get as n modulo 10. Then the second step, what is it? You have to divide n by 10. Right? So, when you come out of this loop, whatever the value of reverse, okay, that should be printed. So, now let us execute the program. I am going to give 1, 2, 5, 6 as the input. 6, 5, 2, 1 is the output. So, now let me give some values with the trailing zeros. 5, 0, 6, 0, 0. The output must be 6, not 5. So, based on our discussion, please try to solve this program and thanks for watching.